Hey there, Josh here from Limbo CMS. In this video, we're going to go over what is enterprise asset management. And we'll talk about the software that can help you with enterprise asset management, as well as the benefits of enterprise asset management, otherwise known as EAM. And what's so cool about it is that it helps you run a much more efficient organization from everything to do with work orders to increasing uptime and making sure that you have a decrease in downtime and getting all your assets into a healthier state and making sure that you can better communicate with stakeholders because you have better data reporting and many more other benefits that we'll be diving into in this video. So excited to jump right in. What is EAM or Enterprise Asset Management? It's a set of processes and tools that enable companies to track and manage their physical assets. And these physical assets can include machines, equipment, buildings, and vehicles. The list is really endless. It helps them manage these assets throughout their life cycle, from the moment they plan to purchase the asset to the moment the asset is disposed of. And this gives you a lot of interesting data that you can work with to better do cost analysis. And organizations use EAM to plan, execute, and control all maintenance activities. This often means increasing the assets, performance, and uptime, extending their useful life, reducing operational costs, and helping the environment, health, and safety initiatives, and much more. With EAM software, enterprises can control all of their assets across different locations and departments through one single dashboard. And that makes the process much easier for management when they're able to see reporting from just one place without running around going crazy. Here are some of the key functions of an EAM software. So we have work management. That includes managing all planned and unplanned maintenance activities, such as incoming maintenance requests, planning maintenance schedules, tracking work in progress, and coordinating maintenance work with outside contractors. And we have asset lifecycle management. This is a key function of EAM, and it helps organizations streamline asset tracking at every stage of their life cycle. This means from developing a procurement strategy and commissioning the asset to repairing the asset through its useful life. This function also helps managers analyze replacement versus maintenance cost benefit, which is a very important metric. And we have labor management, which involves organizing and tracking the assessment, training, and certification for different employees and contractors. This feature of EAM software also helps management coordinate employees' schedules. And we have the MRO management, so our maintenance repair and operations management, functionality which enables the control of enterprise supply chain covering areas like spare parts procurement stock control purchasing estimating demand for materials and making accurate inventory forecasts very cool and we have contract management contract management organizes all contracts involved in the organization's employees partners vendors and customers this function also oversees things like compliance and financial expenditures and depending on your company some of these areas may be bigger than others so for example Contract management may be a smaller area for you if you don't work with too many vendors. And it really depends, again, on the facility that you're working with and what your resources look like. And when we look at the next one, which is analytics and reporting, some of the insights available to organizations through leveraging an EAM system include a summary of maintenance department's activities in real time, a clear trail to track costs associated with every aspect of asset management, and a variety of key performance indicators, so talking about KPIs and metrics to find the root cause of any major problem and more. Then we have financial management. That means gathering data on maintenance spending and forwarding that data to accounting to monitor expenses. By doing this, asset managers can more easily align their efforts with the organization's financial goals. And ultimately, when you can align with financial goals of a company, you're going to more likely have a seat at the stakeholder table where you can go ahead and make really big decisions about where the future of the company is going. They just wanna know that you have the data to support that strategy. And an EAM system is going to allow you to do just that. So let's take a look at the difference between an EAM and a CMS. While many asset management software providers offer both EAM and CMS solutions, they're not the same. Computerized maintenance management systems, or CMSs, are software solutions specifically designed to automate and streamline all tasks related to maintenance management. And the AM software, on the other hand, covers all that, but also includes additional functionality like asset lifecycle management, accounting and finance management, and project management, and much more. It tries to take a more broad and holistic approach. In essence, CMS can offer a strong 
core asset management features, while EAM offers a wide range of functionalities. It's like comparing a cyclist and a triathlon athlete. A person that does triathlons is a good at three different sports, but will rarely be a cyclist in a bicycle race. So when choosing between a CMS and an EAM, you really need to consider what feature are the most important for your organization's workflow. Now we have cloud-based versus on-premise EAM. Cloud-based solutions often referred to as SaaS, software as a service, are hosted on the vendor servers. The user pays a monthly or yearly subscription fee to access the software. Users don't have to install anything and can immediately access the software through a web browser. Sometimes though the software is also available on phones. In that case, then the user may have to install an app in order to access it. Sometimes it's easy though as just going to their internet and then they don't have to install anything. On-premise software has to be installed locally on the company-owned internal servers. It is often done after acquiring a perpetual license, though it can still be subscription-based. In terms of costs, both are similar in the long term. However, on-premise solutions have higher implementation costs. Cloud-based solutions are often preferred in most cases unless the company, one, already had an on-premise ERP system they want to integrate with, or two, need to heavily modify the software to fit their unique manufacturing process. Now let's take a look at EAM best practices. So there are a few best practices you must follow if you want to make the investment worth it. And that includes improving the asset database and data capture. Detailed and up-to-date data presents the foundation for a strong enterprise asset management strategy. It is downright dangerous to exchange misinformation and make decisions based on inaccurate information when it comes to facility management. It can lead to a lot of errors and also injuries. And you want to implement the right mix of maintenance strategies. As you can imagine, the set of asset management approaches you choose will impact everything. The most successful asset management case studies I've seen include a mix of maintenance approaches like condition-based maintenance on critical assets and preventive maintenance for all other important assets. And you want to standardize everything that you can. This includes writing standard operation procedures for tasks that are carried out on a regular basis, writing health and safety guidelines, creating preventive maintenance checklists, setting rules for tracking MRO inventory, and creating a clear organizational structure. So who is responsible for what and who reports to who? If you're using modern EAM or CMS software, that process becomes 100 times easier. And you want to improve communication between roles and apartments. Assets will go through many different hands throughout their life cycle. So if you want to keep them operating smoothly, you need to have a good information flow. Machine operators, for example, need to have an easy way to report asset issues. Maintenance managers must schedule and coordinate work between technicians. Inventory managers need to get timely notifications so they can create emergency work orders or cancel an automated purchase, and so forth and so on. EAM with mobile capabilities tends to make a huge difference on team communication. Lastly, you want to set up automated reports for identified goals and metrics. Defining your asset management KPIs is the only path to progressive and sustainable improvement. Organizations that do not have the ability to accurately track performance indicators often focus too much on cost, which when isolated doesn't tell you anything. So you need to be tracking KPIs. Otherwise, how can you even run an organization? This is fundamental best practice of any type of business. So what you should look for in an enterprise asset management system. You want the ability to track multiple assets across different locations. So with Limble, you can use a single account to track up to a million assets over a thousand locations. And you have the ability to organize assets in parent-child-like hierarchies, which makes it really easy if you're wondering, okay, we have this asset, but what are the assets within it? And then you have centralized asset cards to organize asset information. So having all the info in one place not only speeds up the diagnosis and repair process, but allows for an actionable audit trail. And then we have mobile capabilities and QR code tracking. That not only streamlines communication within team members, but that allows technicians to scan assets barcode with their mobile device, which automatically opens the corresponding asset card. Customizable fields, reports, and KPIs. When you have hundreds of assets, you do not want to clutter your reports with a bunch of data you do not use. And we have inventory management module. This module helps you make accurate inventory forecasts for next month, quarter, or even year. With Limble, whenever technicians close a work order, they're prompted to enter which parts and materials they've spent. So the software uses this information to update inventory levels and send notifications about items that are low in stock and help managers have a better understanding of their current scenario. And of course, making sure that there's proper support and training. This is key when you implement anything. 
Limbo offers not only implementation support, but also a dedicated account manager that provides ongoing help. Because of that, about 98% of Limbo clients have a successful implementation and start seeing the results in just a few weeks, which is absolutely crazy. So it's 98%, which used to be a lot lower back in the day, just in general across the EAM industry and CMS industry. But because software is far more advanced today and processes are much more measured, it is now a 98% success rate. So if you're wondering, hey, like, what are the chances that this is going to work out? Well, very high. And if you're interested in trying Limbo CMS as an EAM software and the different aspects that Limbo can bring to help you run an efficient maintenance organization, then know that we have a free 30-day trial and you can request a demo where we can walk you through the software. If you're not quite ready to try Limbo and just want questions about your maintenance needs, you can reach out to us via email and excited for you to be on your way to running a more efficient maintenance organization. And I wish you the best of luck in that journey. Cheers.